Good evening. Good evening. Ten years ago, in honor of the 50th anniversary of my father's I Have a Dream speech, Time published a special edition with an image of him on the cover. I think you've seen it over there. I was particularly captivated by both the caption and the subcaption, which associated my father with time periods he did not live in. The caption read, Founding Father, which was two centuries before my father was born. And the subcaption read, Architect of the 21st century, a century which he was 32 years shy of living in due to him being assassinated. Of course, I was intrigued by this identification of my father because it affirmed that his message and teachings around human dignity, freedom, justice, and equality are transcendent. The vision, strategy, and values that he espoused are timeless and speak to generations of people who hope for and work toward a day when we truly live together as brothers and sisters in this world. His galvanizing words are instructive and continue to give us hope 60 years later as injustice and inequality continue to persist, causing the marginalization of many communities, especially the black community as evident in the numerous racial disparities. This hope is essential because in spite of the progress we've made since the March on Washington, I Have a Dream, the Civil Rights, Voting Rights, and Fair Housing Acts, we still face deeply entrenched racism as evidenced by the continual attacks on equality in voting and housing, income, banking, law enforcement, criminal justice, the environment, and the recent attacks around education related to affirmative action and CRT. My mother reminds us, though, that struggle is a never-ending process. Freedom is never really won. You earn it and you win it in every generation. Hope, my brothers and sisters, is what fuels the struggle. And with this hope, it is imperative that we keep the struggle for genuine equality alive so that my father's dream of true brother and sisterhood becomes our reality. But as he instructed, and I have a dream, we must forever conduct our struggle on the high plane of dignity and discipline. And so as the architect of this 21st century, my father's message not only gives us hope, but his nonviolent teachings provide the blueprint for building the beloved community where injustice ceases and love prevails. The fierce urgency of now is upon each and every one of us. So join me on the journey as I seek to infuse a new generation of change makers with love and the power of nonviolence to transform our current climate of chaos into the beloved community. God bless you.